In America, we have rights to be something, become something, and do something for our family, our life, and our future. When we leave our father and mother's house, we go out into the world to make that future. What people often do is try to take advantage of opportunities, but when we encourage people to do that, we usually mean stay within the lines of the law. Do not overstep your bounds in your job unless there's opportunity to do it lawfully and legally with the help and the respect of those above thee. In America, we have rights to become a higher power in a company if we're not pleased with being just an associate employee. We can move up to supervisorship if we're willing to take what's called responsibility and the other part that's accountability. When you have wayward employees, you are responsible for them as a supervisor. You are responsible for training them. You are responsible for re-educating them. You're responsible for letting them go if they're not good enough. But more importantly, you're responsible for hiring them sometimes. Which means if you have shit employees, you're not knowing how to hire people. You haven't figured out the standard operating procedure for doing that, which means you need to talk to your HR director who has tons of other stores across America where they hire probably more successfully than you. But here's the poo. We're producing children that think that they don't have to work. We're producing children that think that they can be a jerk on the job. And we're producing children that think they can lie, steal, and cheat the company out of hours that they're being paid to be there to serve that company. You see, a liar will play in the shadows on his cell phone while he's being paid to serve people who may or may not be in the store. And if they're not in the store, what should they be actually doing with that time when they're not serving a customer, which is the whole point of a store? The entire purpose of a business was produced by Peter Drucker, who said the entire service of a business mind is recognizing that you must produce a business that serves people. It's to get and keep customers, to make and create and serve customers. And through that, you earn a living for you. The liars of America take advantage of corporations and they do that regularly because they need bodies. And there are many networking organizations that say, hey, it's a numbers game. In some respect, it is. Because it does take a certain number of people to get the mathematical outcome that you're looking for. And you have some people that are good and other people that are wayward and you have other people just sit like a fat calf, like a king on a throne and do absolutely nothing and let the people below them do everything. It doesn't mean they do truly nothing, Gary. What it really means is that you're sitting there leading the people that you didn't earn to lead. And that's immoral. Life in American soil is interesting. I remember I was traveling in my vehicle personally doing the old-fashioned thing without the new technology in my car of going and finding the horse companies of America. I put together state by state all of the places the Lord had led me that would be interested in my product that I was trying to sell for me and sell for my mother. And I had them all organized in file uh, boxes in the right passenger seat on the floor of my car like any salesman would do. And I personally hand wrote down every address. And do you know what some bastard of Satan did? when I returned to visit my mother, they took those boxes from my car and they made a total mess of all those addresses so that they weren't grouped anymore by the state or the city or the town. And some things I still had to look up and research because when you're out in the middle of the country, there's no Wi-Fi available. So here's the deal. The bastards of Satan returned those cards a mess. But what were they doing in my vehicle unlocking the doors in the first place? And what were they doing with the cards that I had in the first place? And who the fuck died and gave them right to put their hands on anything I own or created in the first place? You see, I create images, but I also purchase images and adjust them. So I'd like them to explain how they created the artwork they're stealing from me. I'd also like them to prove to those companies that they paid for them, which I paid for, for me and my companies. 